Prepare for HA deployment by reviewing the current configuration of both devices. Establish and confirm device trust. Create a sync fail over device group and synchronize configuration between devices. Login into both F5 Big IP with user ID and password. After login then go to network and then self IPs. Create self IPS for device communication. Click create. Provide a name example HA self IP. Set the IP address and net mask. Select the VLAN slash traffic group example HA VLAN, traffic group non-floating. Then finish the configuration. Login other device and repeat for the self IP configuration for secondary devices. Ensure and verify both big IP devices are self IP configuration. Go to device management, then devices. Then click Config Sync and select Local Address and click Update. Then click Mirroring select VLAN and IP and Update. Then click Failover Network. Click Add. Then select Address and Port. Finish and repeat steps as like me. Secondary device follow same steps to configure HA. Go to Device Management, then Device Trust, then Local Domain. Check certificate in both device, it's OK. Now show the both devices are standalone. Go to Device Management, then Go Device Trust, then Device Trust, Member Add Peer IP and Username and Password. Both Device Peer IP and Username and Password set, then click Retrieve Device Information. Click Device Certificate Matches, then Check Name and Add Device. Both device peer configuration complete. Go to F5 Device Management the overview at this moment in Sync and Device Trust Group show both devices. In the Sync issue showing in both devices then select the primary device, click Sync to Group to push the configuration to the secondary device. Take some times, and after that we showing all device is sync. From secondary device show offline, take some times, and after that we showing all device is sync. Now both device have showing active Now create traffic groups. Go to device management, then traffic groups, click create. 
Provide a name example, your choice. Then select group, type sync, failover, add some description, then method, part example, primary device, first, then secondary device, then finished. Take some times then showing active and standby device. Showing also awaiting initial sync. Click sync for active standby configuration. After that, we show primary is active and secondary is standby. For testing purpose, we create a route for active device and sync with standby device. with standby device. Then check show it's working. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more update.